a Mormon gentleman named King Follett died. At his funeral, Joseph Smith is preaching a sermon. And in that sermon, uh, Joseph Smith says that he has some uh, secret information about God. <coughs> some new information uh, that people uh, more or less didn't know before. And God has, has told him what he, God, is like. So what, what people thought about God before was wrong, but now Smith knows he says what God really is like, and he's going to tell us in the King Follett Discourse at this, this uh, sermon of King Follett. So he describes God going through a process which, which we can go through as well if we meet the pre, you know, prerequisites. He doesn't really go into the prerequisites much in that, but uh, from other Mormon documents uh, you can learn about that. Uh, the word of wisdom, for example, keeping the word of wisdom, not drinking tea, that, that kind of thing. So th this process, uh, God starts out as a man, just like us, and he progresses, he goes through a process of eternal progression where he eventually becomes God. And Smith says that this is the, the true view of God. God has told him that that's what he, God, is like. And then Smith goes on to uh, try to establish from the Bible alone that that is the true uh, view of God. But as we saw in the videos, uh, that's not the case. The, the, the Bible doesn't teach these things that Smith is claiming. It, the Bible uh, says that God is omnipotent, He's eternal, He's all-knowing, uh, He is God from all eternity. He does not change he does not change from being a man to being God. Uh, so, so this idea of eternal progression and deification and polytheism, uh, these are all ideas foreign to the Bible. So, so, so the point of, of bringing this up and, and talking about it is to, is to say that uh, he, here is this, this, this sermon, this King Follett Discourse, here is the Mormon view. These are central Mormon doctrines, but these are contrary to the Bible that they're supposedly based on. So if you are yourself a Mormon, and, and, and that's really who this series of videos is primarily addressed to, is somebody who is a Mormon, uh, I, I hope you can see from this series that um, the, the Mormon view is not a view that you can really hold to. Uh, you can hold to it if you suppress the evidence against Mormonism which has been presented in this series of videos. So uh, I have no doubt that you're a very a nice person, uh, a very kind person. Uh, uh, this is not to hurt your feelings, but to, to give you facts so you can make an, an educated, intelligent decision to leave the Mormon faith. And why, 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 why do I want you to leave the Mormon faith? I, I don't enjoy people uh, losing their deeply held religious beliefs. No. But I want you to know the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So e even, though, even though this hurts your ears at first, uh, please let it, let it filter down through in, into your heart and make the, the only intellectually honest decision you can make, and that is to 
leave the Mormon faith. And leaving the Mormon faith in and of itself is only half the story. The, the other half is, is, is coming to the biblical Christ. Uh, and I've got a video, How to Become a Christian, you can watch if you want to do that. But, 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 but the first thing to realize is that all the stuff that you've been taught as a Mormon is not true. So that is the, the purpose of why I'm doing this series on the King Follow-Up Discourse, to expose you to the truth of your faith, of your religion, so that you will know you can no longer hold it. Excuse me. If you're going to be honest, intellectually honest with yourself. If you're going to be rational. You, you can't hold what you know to be to be fallacious okay so uh, I will say say again it's not to attack you personally or to hurt your feelings or to cause you mental duress it's to say here is the truth take this truth be free And I really do wish, uh, if you're a Mormon, I really do wish peace on you. Shalom, peace, peace on you. Thank you for watching. Please take the time to, to let this sink in and to think through it and reflect on it for yourself. You, you don't have to believe everything I say. You, you can think through the issue for yourself. But when you do, uh, the, the, the direction that, that, that the evidence is pointing against Mormonism is that you, you can't, you cannot be a, Mo a Mormon if, you're, if you know the facts and you're, on, and, you're, and you're intellectually honest with yourself. Thank you. Shalom. Goodbye. Merry Christmas.